Hey YouTube, so I ground down the metal as far as I wanted to take it and this is the stuff I'm going to use to put where the welds are and the only reason I'm using this and not body putty is because there's places where the back of the metal that I put in is going to get wet and since it's going to get wet I want to use fiberglass okay so this is fiber strand body filler now it's not all fiberglass but it's got fiberglass strands in it which makes it better for uh, water and if you read there it says waterproof okay waterproof short strand I don't know if you can read that but anyway this is what I use so it doesn't take a lot to um, use this or to uh, I don't use a lot of I'm saying what I do is I put it on only where the welds are only where there's a hole through the body where there's a chance that water may come from the back now water's not going to come from the front because um, the water uh, it's, it's going to be painted the body it'll be primer and paint so that's not going to get water through that okay and then the uh, hardener is this stuff what I don't like about this hardener and what I do is I just run usually one bead I was looking at the camera when I squeezed that first squeeze there but anyway what I like to do is take something a different color so that I can tell that it's mixed good and you do want it mixed good or you're going to be ha having trouble and you'll know it's not mixed good when you go to sand it and find out that it's gummy so we're looking for all one color even though the colors blue and green not exactly a perfect combination for mixing stuff years ago they used to give you these squeegees for free when I was a kid I worked in a body shop when I was 15 years old and the guy that was there was a pretty good body guy everybody liked his work and I was happy to be able to work with him alright so I'm going to call that mixed up I'm going to bring you over here and you can see that small square that I had there that patch I already fixed that up so let me try and get you in a way where you can see a little better so what I'm interested in if you look across here you see this big seam this is level with this I've already put a straight edge across it to look at it I just want to make sure that nothing's too high and I'm not trying to you know pack this on there like a madman now I put a lot on there just to get it on but what I'm really after is that the edges of this are tapered okay and I want to force it into wherever the welds are now you don't want to work body putty too much and a lot of body guys will tell you to put it on with the fastest straightest sweep you can but what I'm after with this fiberglass is just to cover my welds okay now if I had a better squeegee here I'd get a smoother mark but not worried about that but what you're after is you want to clean up around the edges don't leave no extra there there's a little weld showing wherever you see the edges of the weld you want to make sure you've got body filler this fiberglass stuff that's waterproof in there so I'm going to put some on the very edge of this thing and work up through here I don't want to go too high with it because I'll get it onto this fiberglass thing even though it's not the best in the world I just don't want to you know make any more trouble than I already have so that's you can see that that's covered that put a little bit more on the one edge and run that along there and I'm moving on a downward motion as I go and that's forcing that fiberglass to go into the well okay so I'm going down watch the tip of my tool you'll see how I work it downward so I start up high and I go on a slant downhill because what that does is it forces the fiberglass into the weld marks now here this isn't you can see where those white spots are like that that's where the weld came from from behind where I welded onto the fender 
All right, so anyway, it's going to come this way a little bit. I'm working, like I say, downward. And I'm keeping it tight against the top here. I don't want any body filler up at the top there if I can help it. Okay, and I want to feather wherever I have it because this fiberglass is a bear to sand. And really, just sanding is not a hard thing. Everybody thinks that sanding is the hard part. Sanding really isn't that hard if you use the right kind of sandpaper. And I gotta tell you, I'm gonna be honest with you, nobody makes sandpaper and tape like 3M. I don't care what anybody says. You can go and buy all the stuff at Harbor Freight you want. And I go there too. I buy a lot of stuff at Harbor Freight, especially their cutoff wheels. But their tape sucks and their uh, uh, their um, what was I talking about? I don't know, something else. Whatever I was saying sucks. It doesn't, it's no good. So, you want to try something different. Now this body filler is starting to set up on me a little bit here already, so I just wanted to, I wanted to work that crack, but I'm not going to be able to. Alright, so anyway, that's basically how you put it on there. You want to get so that it's covering where that weld was, okay? So you're making that, um, you're making that area waterproof so that no water comes through from behind. All right? So anyway, that's how you do the initial body filler. And like I say, it's the fiberglass stuff, the waterproof. Okay, bye.